Good morning, Perfect Pates fans. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. And I wanted to share with you something that I've just been playing around with. I have this canvas bag that I acquired at some point in time. And I thought it would be cool to stencil on my bag. So basically what I did was I have a bag. I've put a piece of cardboard cut to size to fit the bag. And I've also cut some stencils. Now, I had this design hanging around my studio literally probably for, I don't know, almost a year. And finally decided, ah, this would be a great time to pull it out and play. So, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here is the stencil that I cut on my scan and cut. So, what I'm going to do is I need to adhere this down. I have grabbed some Perfect Paints colors that I'm going to be working with. This is Bohemian Blue, Cajun Pumpkin, and Spiced Saffron. Yeah, see, I had a little paint episode. But anyways, I'm always having paint episodes. I have my little bucket of water here, and then I have um, some sponges that I cut into little strips that I'm gonna use to apply the paint onto my canvas bag. So, let's get this started. All right, we are all set to go. I have my stencil taped down to my bag. I forgot to say my green, which is vintage patina, along with this little darling right here, and it's called Perfect Thickening Gel. Now, I need that because the Bohemian Blue is really quite fluid. All right, so I have the smallest amount of thickening additive that I could possibly use because this stuff is pretty intense. All right, so you can see where it thickened that up and it will help me with my gush. All right, so we're all good and mixed in. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna dip it into my paint and I'm just going to start dabbing it onto the bag. You don't wanna to spend too much time dabbing because we really don't want a gush underneath the stencil. Onto the next color, do a little of the Cajun pumpkin. All right, so now I'm gonna take my sponge once again and I'm gonna dip it into the paint and I'm going to dab it onto the fabric. Once again, trying not to do too much because I don't want it to gush underneath the stencil. And there we have that one. And now we're going to do the third one with the spiced saffron. I got my sponge. I'm gonna have at it again. All right, so there we have our flowers. Now I did put a little piece of matte tape on my stencil because I needed that petal to be separate from the stem. So I'm gonna take that off. All right, and now we're gonna do our stems. Oh, I just love oh, the colors in this vintage patina are so amazing. All right, I have now stenciled on all my color. And let's pull this bad boy up. Oh, how pretty! Okay, so there we have our first layer. All right, so we're ready to go. Now, when I cut out my stencils, of course, you end up with the inside piece, which I made little circles on so that I could create the centers of my flowers. So I'm just going to place these back over top of my stenciled flowers. So this is gonna get Bohemian Blue, this will get Spiced Saffron, and this will get the Cajun Pumpkin. 
take out a smidge of the bohemian blue. all right i'm gonna take this little itty bitty little dauber that i got ha yay and here i'm gonna do the spiced saffron There's the centers of that one. And now over here, we're going to use the Cajun pumpkin. Voila! Yay! Oh my gosh, I am so loving this. So now I'm just going in and adding a few details, outlining the flower with a white pen. Make some little dots inside of the circles. And before you start this process, you want to make sure that your paint is absolutely and totally dry. And there you have it, your own personalized market bag. I don't know about you, but I'm a bag lady. I love my bags. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed my tutorial creating your own personalized market bag using the amazing Perfect Paints. Until we meet again, stay creative. Bye!